Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, we will see how you can download and install Python into your system. Essentially, you can do that for any operating system, be it it's Windows, Linux, Mac, or whatever Mac operating system you are using. But I'm aware of the fact that most of our audience, uh, they use Windows as operating system. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. But if you happen to have other operating system, please uh, try to in do the installation with the same process. Uh, if you find any difficulty, it should be very intuitive. If you find any difficulty while doing that, uh, please let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you out there. Or else we will proceed uh, with the Windows operating system. Before we go and do the actual installation, I would like to give a few technical details. First, Python has two different versions, Python 2 and 3. 2 is a bit older as compared to 3. But in terms of performance, in terms of syntax, there are not major differences. Both the versions should be okay. Uh, but for our tutorial and for all the deep hubbing project, we are going to use Python 3 only. Even if for Python 3, if you go to the website which I given below, that is python.org, you will see there would be there will be two application, uh, 32 bit application Python application and uh, and 64 bit Python application. To decide which one to uh, download and do the installation, first you go you need to go and see your computer uh, uh, property first. I will show you how you can do that. If you have 32 bit computer, which is less likely that you you have it because it's a bit older. And if you have that 32 bit computer, then go for 32 bit Python application. Don't go for 64 because it won't be compatible. And if you have 64 bit computer, uh, both should be okay 32 bit and 64 bit Python application. But why you want to take uh, 32 bit Python application when you have 64? So, in nutshell, go for Python 3. And if you have 32 bit uh, processor in your computer, go for 32 bit application. And if you have 64 bit computer, then go for 64 bit Python application. Now, let's go to this website and do the actual installation. Once you're there in the Python website, go to this download tab and choose your operating system. For our case, it's Windows, but you can choose any, any one of them. And if you want to download 32 bit Python application, go for this one, or else just click on window. Then you can go for the latest release, which is Python 3.6.5 as of now, but it might change it depending upon when you are watching this video. Then click on this one. Once you click on the link, the latest release, you will land on this page and you can go all the way down to the file section and go for this option, the Windows X8664 X8 bit executable inst installer. So download this file. It will take some time to download it depending upon your internet speed. Okay, while it's download, let's go and check the system property. Uh, go to your PC or computer, go for property option, and here you can find system type. For my case, uh, my case it's 64 bit, for your case as well, should be 64 bit, but just do the check before you download any Python application. Okay. We have already downloaded the exe file. Now run the exe file and the installation process is very simple. Just go for install now option. It usually take a couple of minutes to install. Once you're done with the installation, go to window and type ideal, ideally. This is the user interface for uh, Python. And here you can see the Python version, which is 3.6.5 and application 64 bit application with this we conclude today's tutorial in the next one we will see different type of operation in python if you have any question comments please leave them in the comment section and please do like and subscribe this channel if you haven't done it yet or else thanks for watching until next time cheers